welcome to the Des Moines Social Club. On tonight's JG Faux Show, we welcome the folks from Lava Row, Nathan Wright, and Hillary Brown. Also, your favorite segment this week on Craigslist. And now, most importantly, your host, the man whose only qualification for this show is his initials. Please welcome Jason Garnett. Jen got a fake kiss. Fake kiss there. There was no touching of my lips to any of her body. But it looked like it. It felt good. It felt almost like we've been doing this. Almost. This is a new microphone. Not new to me. It's certainly not new. But we'll go on anyways. Just kidding. Uh, welcome everybody tonight. This is the JG Fo Show. Every Wednesday night. At, uh, anything new personally? How's uh, how's the dating life? You would ask me that. Uh, it's not very eventful. I, I, there's a lot of d bags out there. Don't I know? <laughs> I don't know what that means. Go ahead. Please go on with that. Well, who's a d bag? Well, I don't want to name any names. Did you go on a date with a d bag? Jason. I don't want to go into all the details, but there was a gentleman, a person formerly known as a gentleman, who said something inappropriate to me the other day. On a date? No, we were actually on the phone. He was trying to get me to come over to his place. What time was this? <laughs> uh, about 11.30 at night. <laughs> that is a lie. But it was too. What it time do you think it was? I thought it was probably later. No, it was like 11.30 or 12. I was awake. We were on the phone. Well, that could be... I, Probably bad intentions on his part, I would yeah. say. Yeah, he said something dreadfully inappropriate. What is? It? What did he say? My pastor is here tonight, and I cannot repeat it. That guy. I think. I think. You can, I think all the more to get it off your chest. Uh, confession. Confession. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, he said uh, something to the effect of Jennifer. He said Jennifer. He, yeah, he said Jennifer. Very formal. Very formal. I knew it was serious what was coming Very up next. Very persuasive. To always use, in sales, always use the person's... Full first name. Right, that's good. Like the mother. <laughs> really good. So he proceeds to say, Jennifer. Jennifer? Uh, I'm going to change it a little bit. You use your imagination. Something like, my my D... Okay. Well, not... Okay. <laughs> He's got a dog. My D, as in dog. He's got a dog. My D will not S... Itself. Whoa. My D isn't going to S itself. <laughs> that does sound like something my boss would say in the middle of lunch, but he's kidding when he talks like that. This my guy D, wasn't kidding. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out what that probably meant. My, <laughs> my dog isn't going to... Let's ask the intern. <laughs> he isn't going to S it. Well, in all fairness... Thank you. <laughs> in all fairness to what he had... They can they, they can't ask themselves. I guess they should have gone over there to see. <laughs> I don't know. It's gross. I did not go over there. Well, praise the Lord. Well, it's probably time to do uh, do our favorite segment. Yes. Jen? What do you think? Let's do it. What's this week been on, on Craigslist this week? This week on Craigslist. <laughs> Vietnamese man. I'm interested in making some new friends since I'm new to the area. I can speak and cook Vietnamese. However, I am not Viet. It would be fun to hang out and eat and drink with friends with no pressure. I love Viet karaoke. <laughs> this sounds like a setup to me. Somebody with an old score to settle. You know what I mean? But I like... The one thing that they love is something like that's just stereotypically mocking of Asian people, and that's karaoke, but that's fun. Let's get together and hang out and eat and drink. Playboy Collection, huge adult magazine, rare, $250, Altoona. Um, this is all the ones that he, all the ones that he has. Um, and, yeah, four boxes. All the shoes selling online for at least twenty-five dollars. Here we go. If you don't believe me, if you don't believe I'm a pervert, I'm gonna put some pictures on here. And I don't know a whole lot about uh, pornography. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, but I have a problem buying other people's pornography, I think. Because it's, like, it's not like the New Yorker that they may be had by the TV. It's, it's Playboy. It's pornography. There's only one thing you do with pornography. You haven't heard about the articles? <laughs> They're really good articles. Yeah. All right, this is a long one, but this is this should be worth worth your time coming tonight. Uh, we'll just we'll hit some of the high points of this. Needed local musicians who want to be in a successful band, as opposed to the ones that just want to be in a really shitty, unsuccessful band. <laughs> I'm starting a band. I have people interested, but nothing is 100 percent yet. If you are a better fit than the people I'm talking with, then you'll get first shot. <laughs> That makes sense. If you think about it, that makes sense. <laughs> Similar age, 21 to 27. But I will consider anyone 18 to 30. <laughs> Here we go. This band is going to have some long-term organized goals and planning and will require commitment. This band will be the main priority in your life if you are in, in it. For the tough things in life that you take your focus away from the band, we help each other out on those fronts. It's like a family. <laughs> For example, if you go homeless, you can sleep on my couch. But you better be looking for a new place. If you don't have a license, we will find you rides. But you better get your license back and keep it this time. If your equipment breaks and you have no money, we'll all split the cost of repair. But you better start saving up for next time it happens. Ideas of all kinds I want to combine with yours. I can play several instruments, write lyrics, sing, record, produce, perform, promote, network, book, and anything else needed. Why do you need any band members? Is my question. You get a one bedroom place. Sometimes when I have writer's block or I feel unmotivated, I smoke the pot. So that can't be a problem for you. I'm not what you might call a stoner because I work very hard and very motivated. Yes, it's ironic that I smoke pot for motivation, but I'm unique and it works for me. Yeah, unique until you talk to somebody else that smokes pot. If you have a pot connection, that is a plus because I can't find any lately. Please do not be the pot connection, though, because I don't need potential drama of a drug dealer in the band. If you're a drummer, I would love it if you have a convenient place, place to practice. So you don't have to haul your drums for every practice. Yes. I will tell you more in my reply to your email. <laughs> what his favorite animal is. What his mother's maiden name is. All in the next email. Wow, that is amazing. So if you guys are interested in joining a band, um, not too many requirements. It sounds fun. It sounds talented. Pink Lady, Pink Cast Lady at DAV Thrift Store. You're at the DV thrift shop today on University, which is a, find some amazing things there, by the way. I encourage everybody to go there if you can get over the smell of urine. <laughs> You're older than me, but I couldn't keep my eyes off of you. It wasn't the pink cast on your arm. It was those gorgeous hues, put my eyes out, nipples that were begging for attention. Like, what? Yes. <laughs> they were incredible. I can't read any more of this. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable and aroused, which isn't good, but I've got the desk. Got the desk. All right, one more. Uh, lost 20 pound inbred gray cat. This should start out good news. I lost my 20 pound inbred cat. <laughs> 